Hello. I don't know if you're like me. Something happened in your life. You got older and all the things that you tried to do in the past to lose weight just didn't work anymore. Yeah, I had surgery and I started gaining. I couldn't walk. I had surgery on my foot. I also had surgery on my shoulder and nothing I did worked. So I developed a program that can really help you. Now, let me start by saying you can lose weight on just about any diet, but ask yourself, is that diet gonna make you metabolically better or metabolically worse? There were so many other things that came and went in my over 40 years career in medicine. Remember amphetamines? Yeah, you, you cut your appetite, you lost weight, you became addicted and then poof, it all gained, came back when you stopped them. It's the same now with these GLP-1 inhibitors like Ozempic and Wagovi and the whole group of them. They come with side effects that some are pretty, pretty severe. So think about whenever you start something, what's the end game? How are you going to maintain it? Do you want to be on costly injections for the rest of your life? Look for a, a program that is sustainable, where the goal is to lose fat, not muscle, and the things that address the root cause. Sometimes they're hormonal, and the top hormones that affect your weight are cortisol, insulin, leptin and ghrelin. And we're gonna get at the things that influence these hormones. And the first thing is stress. Stress affects cortisol and stress could be physical, emotional, or chemical. It's not just worry. So addressing stress as part of your weight loss plan is extraordinarily important. I use calming herbs and certain techniques that really calm your nervous system down and lower cortisol, the stress hormone that when it's high, it makes you fat. It makes you gain weight, especially around the belly, that spare tire. The other thing are toxins. Do you know toxins mimic hormones? And some hormones are known and toxins are known to be, they call them obesogens because they make you grow. They make you gain weight. So eliminating toxins is extremely important in any weight loss program. So we have supplements that can help with that as well as eating clean, drinking clean, using clean products, and even thinking clean. Inflammation, and inflammation can come from food, infections, diet, and fat. The fat in your belly and the fat anywhere in your body can leach out inflammatory cytokines, which is a vicious cycle. The fat makes you fat. So decreasing inflammatory foods and decreasing inflammation has to be a cornerstone of any weight loss program because it interferes with your hormones. Having adequate nutrition. You need protein because protein will help you build muscle and muscle is what's going to burn the fat. So having adequate protein and the vitamins and minerals and other things that help you burn the fat, like a good microbiome, a good probiotic, probiotic foods, having the right kind of nutrition is going to help you. And it's not just calories in, calories out. One of the last things I wanna talk about is sleep. Sleep is extraordinarily important for all your hormones to work together. That's where you regenerate, you rejuvenate, and you repair. And the same herbals that I use to decrease stress can also help you with sleep and reducing inflammation, reducing these toxins that could excite the nervous system and the hormone system. All of these things, food reactions, all of these things can help you sleep better. So I hope you try and choose a program that's going to address the hormones, cortisol, that addresses stress, your lifestyle and your sleep, insulin, low carbohydrates to stop those sugar spikes, leptin 
and decreasing inflammation and reducing toxins and ghrelin, the one that makes you hungry. So addressing stress, sleep, having adequate protein, protein and losing weight, all are part of a metabolic reset program that is 40 days, helps you lose weight, feel great, and then you go on to a sustainable program because you lose fat, not muscle. Thanks for your attention. Bye for now.